Hey, check this out, nature freaks. I just rescued this gravid smooth green snake as she was basking on a bike trail. So I'm gonna temporarily bring her into captivity, document her laying the eggs, take you through the incubation process and the eggs hatching, and then I'll bring her back to the prairie along with her babies, and I'll release them in an area where I know they're gonna be safe. Nature in your face! Okay guys, quick update. I've had the snake in captivity for a few days now. She is doing awesome. Uh, she's acclimating real well. I just dumped in a few crickets so you can see her eat. But um, I've been pumping her up with a variety of different insects. I've given her mealworms. I even caught a few spiders and threw them in there and they disappeared so I know she's eating them. But it's super important that I continue to feed her a lot and that's because much of the nutrients that she takes in her body goes to the development of the shell of the eggs as well as the embryos inside. Now you can see the lower two thirds of her body very swollen. That's not only because I've been feeding her but she is about to drop these eggs which fingers crossed Hopefully, I will capture on film. If not, at the very least, I'll get the eggs in the enclosure after she lays them. But uh, that'll be the next video, guys. So she's doing well. Just wanted to give you that update. And uh, let's go, mama. All right, it's been about 11 days since my last video. But guess who just laid seven eggs a few hours ago? Look at those beautiful eggs. Now one of the eggs was bad, if you look where it's out of focus, you'll see that yellow egg at the top left. It was infertile, it's a dud. It's not because of anything I did, it just wasn't meant to be. But look at proud mama, flicking her tongue out, checking out those eggs, all proud. The next step is to remove the eggs, I'll um, incubate them. There is no parental care in green snakes, so it's not going to stress the female out whatsoever. Look at mom just saluting her eggs as she slithers across them, as if to say, live long and prosper, little babies. Oh man, look what I just woke up to. Finally, after six weeks, the green snakes are hatching. One of them's already completely out of the egg. I missed that. But check out these three. Look at them rolling around. Oh, here comes this guy, peeking his head out of the egg, taking a look at the world for the first time. The two eggs in the back haven't started hatching yet, but they should follow suit within the next few hours. This is truly a miracle, so I'm just going to keep the camera rolling. I'm going to sit back and I'm going to let you guys enjoy these smooth green snake eggs hatching. Here they are, all six of my little Loch Ness monsters. They're healthy, they're active. It's interesting because smooth green snakes are gray when they hatch. They won't take on that bright green coloration until they're a little bit older. But the next step is to allow them to absorb their yolk sacs. They should shed within the next four or five days. That's when I'll start feeding them. And we'll just raise them up until, until they're old enough where I can release them. So uh, yeah, we'll pick it up after they shed and start eating. All right, so the snakes have been out of their eggs for maybe about a week now. They're all eating there, demolishing crickets and mealworms, whatever I put in there. 
And most importantly, they've all gone through their first shed, so I can let them go anytime I want, but I'm gonna hold on to them for maybe another week or two, get them a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, and then, uh, and then I'll let them go. Well, what can I say, guys? Today is a bittersweet day because today's the day I'm going to release the mama green snake and her six little hatchlings. Now, as sad as that is, what an experience from the snake laying the eggs to them hatching to raising them up to a size where they're going to have a really, really good chance of surviving. I mean, what could be more rewarding? But it is admittedly very sad. Uh, it's September 6th today, so I caught these snakes, or this female, I should say, um, on June 15th. So this video was three months in the making. So we got one last leg of the journey. It's time to let go some green snakes. All right, guys, we're gonna let Mama go first. Here she is. Man, so cool having this snake for three months, but it's time to let her go. I'm just gonna let her slip away right in here. Put her over this little, there she goes. See you, Mama. Give her a little love tap, and there she goes, that's it. Time for the little guys, all six of them. Look at this. Oh, how cool is that? Look at them. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna put these guys on the ground. It's gonna be tough to get it on video, but I'm just gonna put them right down here. Look at that, there goes one of them. And there goes the others. All right, guys, have a nice life. Go catch some crickets, go on. Awesome. Well, that's it guys, snakes are gone. I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Show me some love, it took me three months to make this video. I hope you guys will subscribe to the channel. Maybe leave a comment, let me know what you thought about those cool green snakes. And we will see you guys on the next episode of Nature In Your Face.